Hey guys, David here from Goku 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Neptune Voice Synthesizer in Reason to create vocal harmonies. Okay, so let's get started. So to do this, you're actually going to need Reason 6 or onward, because this is the version of Reason that Neptune was included in at first, and it has been included ever since Reason 6. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play the vocals with the vocal harmonies that we are going to be creating, just so that you can get an idea of what we're going to be doing. I don't know where to go after you. So believe it or not, those vocal harmonies actually were just created with Neptune voice synthesizer from the original vocals. And now I'm going to play just the backup vocals or the vocal harmonies so that you can hear. Now it's not going to sound natural at all, but as you heard earlier, when it's actually included with the real vocals, it's barely noticeable that these aren't real vocal harmonies. So this is just Neptune voice synthesizer by itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and create those. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the vocals track. Now you might ask why I don't just apply a Neptune to the original vocal track, and that's because even I find when Neptune pitch correction isn't enabled, Neptune still leaves traces in the original vocal for some reason, even though it's not supposed to. It still leaves very audible traces, so I go ahead and copy the vocal lane just so that we can only use Neptune on the parts that we need to have harmonies. Now, I guess that you could also automate the bypass option in Neptune. I just like doing it this way much better. So now on the vocal copy track, I'm just going to switch to the rack and I'm going to add a Neptune pitch adjuster. I'm going to make it the very first effect in the chain and we're not going to be pitch correcting this, so I'm just going to change the pitch adjust off. Next, I'm going to change the pitched signal to zero, and I'm just going to leave the voice synth at 100. I'm also going to change the MIDI destination to voice synth. If you don't do this, this will not work. Now, the reason that I changed the pitch signal to zero is because this duplicated vocal track is going to be for our vocal harmonies only. We don't want any of the original vocals coming through because we have the original vocal track for that. So once you've gone ahead and done all that, you have to right click the Neptune and hit create track for Neptune. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back to the sequencer and I'm just gonna play it back. And I'm just gonna play random notes on my MIDI keyboard to show you basically what this is going to do. Now, as you heard earlier in my examples, I was only playing one note because that's all I wanted in my vocal harmonies. However, you can play as many notes as you'd like. You also don't need a MIDI keyboard. You can also do this in the MIDI sequencer itself but I just find it easier with a MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to be playing this on my MIDI keyboard and it's just going to be random notes just so you can basically hear what it does. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. I don't know where to go after you've gone. So yeah, I told you it was just going to be random notes, and as you can hear, that really did not sound very pleasant. But as you heard, I was holding down more than one note, and it was making vocal harmonies. So basically, whenever you hold down a note, the audio is going to come through in that note. If you're not holding down any notes, no audio is going to be coming through. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I already have the notes that I want for this vocal harmony here. It's going to be G, B, and D. So. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it back and I'm just going to press those notes on my MIDI keyboard whenever I want the harmony to come in. So I'm just going to hit record.
I don't know where to go after you've gone. Just so you know, I miss you. Try to come back I'll tell you I knew Now there's one note in there that I did play a bit earlier, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, now in the mixer, since the backup vocals are on their own track, we can actually add their own effects. And we can also change just the level of the backup vocal. So go ahead and play it with the music so that you can hear what it sounds like. And you're going to be able to tell that you can't even tell that those are fake backup vocals. That was the note I played too early. So there you go, that's how to make vocal harmonies in Reason with Neptune's voice synthesizer. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also, don't forget to check out my website at gaguda55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.